success doesn't come from what you do occasionally it comes from what you do consistently so your consistent practice will lead you ahead from where you are so now let's get started to solve the problem on the screen from fourier transforms so we have to find the finite sine and cosine transforms of the function f of x defined by f of x is equal to x where x lies between 0 to 4 first of all i am going to calculate finite fourier sine transforms finite four year sign transform so for that what is the formula here that is finite sign transforms of the function f of x is equal to integral 0 to l this is f of x into sine n pi x by l here our l is nothing but 4 so wherever you find l I will substitute 4 and what is f of x here f of x is nothing but x if I substitute then the finite Fourier sine transforms of the function f of x is equal to integral 0 to l what is l here 4 what is f of x value f of x is nothing but x into sine n pi x by 4 into dx so this is integration by parts this we have to treat as u and this we have to treat as v so integral u v dx is nothing but the formula u we have to leave v we have to integrate minus integral d by dx of derivative of u and integral v dx again whole dx so if i substitute in this formula then see our four year sign transforms of f of x value is equal to u we have to leave as it is sin i have to integrate it will be minus cos n pi x by 4 by for x it is 1 it will be n pi by 4 minus integral derivative of u what is the derivative of u this is x and the integration of v is nothing but minus cos n pi x by 4 by for x it is equal to 1 and therefore n pi by 4 remains so here then Fourier sine transforms of the function f of x is equal to if I send it to the numerator then this will be 4 by n pi minus cos n pi x by 4 minus of minus this is plus and if I send this to the numerator this will be 4 by n pi integral cos n pi x by 4 of dx. So between the limits 0 to L. So what is L here? L is nothing but 4. Then see our Fourier sine transforms of the function f of x is equal to minus x 4 by n pi cos n pi x by 4 and this is 4 by n pi and for integral cos is nothing but sine n pi x by 4 by for x is equal to 1 it is n pi by 4 between the limits see the limits here are from 0 to l so what is our l value here it is 4 so now that is 4 year sign transforms of the function f of x will be minus 4 by n pi x cos n pi x by 4 and if I send 4 to the numerator then this will be 4 into 4 16 into this will be n square into pi square into sin n pi x by 4 of the limits 0 to 4 if I substitute the upper limit then see what will happen so this will be if I keep x here upper limit that will be n pi cos n pi 4 by 4 plus 16 by n square pi square sin n pi 4 by 4 and if I substitute the lower limit minus of minus plus if I substitute 0 here this will be 0 and minus 16 by n square pi square into this is a sin 0 by 4 so if I cancel this one we have certain formula that sin n pi value is 0 cos n pi value is minus 1 power n and sin 0 value see here sin 0 value is 0 and cos 0 value is 1 so here sin 0 value is 0 this whole thing will be 0 and sin n pi value is also 0 so what remains here 
देर फोर फोर इयर द फाइनेट फोर इयर साइन ट्रांसफॉर्म्स ऑफ द फंक्शन एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस सिक्सटीन बाई एन पाई इंटू कॉस एन पाई सी सी द वैल्यू हियर माइनस सिक्सटीन बाई एन पाई इंटू कॉस एन पाई इफ एन वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू वन का टू का थ्री एंड सो ऑन सो आर फोर इयर्स साइन ट्रांसफॉर्म्स ऑफ द फंक्शन वैल्यू रिमाइंड एस माइनस सिक्सटीन बाई दिस इज एन पाई बाई कॉस एन पाई इफ एन वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू वन कमा टू कमा थ्री एंड इट इज ऑल्सो आस्क दैट टू फाइंड फाइनेट साइन एंड अगेन फाइनेट कॉस सो फॉर फाइनेट कॉस ट्रांसफॉर्म वी हैव टू अप्लाई फॉर्मुले दैट सो हियर एफ ऑफ एक्स इज गिवन एज एक्स एंड एल वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू फोर हियर द फाइनेट फोर इयर कोसाइन ट्रांसफॉर्म्स सो फाइनेट कोसाइन ट्रांसफॉर्म्स कोसाइन फोर इयर ट्रांसफॉर्म फोर इयर ट्रांसफॉर्म वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू सी एल शो यू द फॉर्मुले हियर दैट इज फोर इयर कोसाइन ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ द फंक्शन एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू इंटीग्रल जीरो टू एल एफ ऑफ एक्स इन टू कॉस एन पाई एक्स बाई एल of dx so here l is equal to 4 and what is our f of x value so f of x value is nothing but x if i substitute the same thing here then the fourier cosine transform of the function f of x is equal to integral 0 to 4 f of x is nothing but x this is cos n pi x by 4 of dx See here. Now this is of the form u v rule. So we have a formula that integral u v dx is nothing but u we have to leave v we have to integrate minus integral d by dx derivative of u integral v dx whole dx. If I substitute in this formula, we'll get the exact value. That is the finite cosine transforms of the function f of x is equal to u we have to leave as it is and v we have to integrate this will be sin n pi x by 4 for x it is 1 it will be n pi by 4 minus integral derivative of u is 1 and we have to integrate this again this is sin n pi x by 4 for x x it is 1 so again it is n pi by 4 so between the limits 0 to 4 so again we have a formula that so if i send this to the numerator then this will be 4 by n pi into x sin n pi x by 4 and if i send this to the numerator this will be 4 by n pi integral 0 to 4 and this is sin n pi x by 4 of dx So this is the Fourier cosine transforms of the function f of x is equal to four by n pi x sine n pi x by four, and here for sine it is minus cos. So this is minus cos n pi x by four. Already there is four by n pi here, and for x it is one. This will be n pi by four. Between the limits, see the limits are from zero to four. so every time it is from 0 to 4 so if i send this to the numerator then see the four year cosine transforms of the function f of x is equal to 4 by n pi this is x sin n pi x by 4 and this is for 4 so 16 pi this is n square pi square into cos n pi x by 4 between the limits 0 to 4 So, if I substitute the limits, upper limit minus lower limit, then this will be cosine transforms of uh, f of x is equal to. If I substitute the upper limit, this will be four into four by n pi into sine n pi by four by four plus a sixteen by this is n square pi square into cos. n pi 4 by 4 and for lower limit this will be 0 and minus 16 by this is n square pi square into cos n pi so this is 0 0 by 4 so this will be 0 so if i cancel this one 
this will be n pi if i cancel this one this will be n pi so if i write properly then this will be the finite cosine transforms of the function will be this is a 16 n pi this is a sine n pi plus 16 by this is n square pi square this is cos n pi minus 16 by n square pi square into cos 0 so if i substitute the values the sine n pi value is 0 cos n pi value it is always minus 1 power n so cos 0 value is 1 and sine 0 value is always 0 so here sine n pi value is 0 and that's it and we have to substitute these two equations therefore four year cosine transforms of the function f of x is equal to if i take 16 by n square pi square common this will be cos n pi minus cos 0 so we have both the values cos n pi value is nothing but minus power 1 and cos 0 value is 0 so this will be 16 by n square pi square into minus 1 power n minus 1 so this is the finite cosine transforms of the function f of x where n is greater than 0. So this is the final answer and this is how we have to find the Fourier cosine transforms of the function and this is the Fourier sine transforms of the function value. So this is the way we have to find. I really tried very hard to bring it across to you. I will be back very very soon. Until then stay connected. Uh, I will be uploading my next video very soon. If you really like these videos, please pass it on to your friends. Subscribe to this channel and stay connected. Thank you so much.